What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another RNG recruit interview. This time with the we've got with us a very, very talented 2025 linebacker slash safety who's from Maryland, who is getting looked at by the University of Miami, 10 St. Francis Academy. Um, if you guys know the Maryland area, you know he's being coached by some of the best coaches in that whole region right there playing for that school. High, high upside, man. I love him. At, personally, I love him at linebacker. That's where I really, really like his film at, his linebacker. Some list, have him listed as safety. But that kind of tells you the versatility and the kind of athleticism we're talking about. I'm excited to bring him on here to introduce himself right now. How y'all doing? Uh, my name is Bryce Diaz, uh, a.k.a. Juice. Um, I'm class 25. I uh, play linebacker. I rush, pass rush, run the ball. I mean, anything you can think of is there. Hey, man, thanks for taking the time to jump on here, you know, and just let fans get a little more familiar with you, man. I appreciate it. For sure. I always like to start off with uh, what's your current height and weight right now? Uh, my current height and weight, I'm 6'2", 205. Or 207 actually okay okay you know we talked about your versatility and stuff what all positions do you play for your high school uh right now what yeah i play dn like i go in on like third down i'm um, passing passing downs to get some speed on the edge um i play linebacker that kind of hybrid position outside linebacker uh covering slats stuff like that covering tight ends and then um well, even corner. I played corner when we went up Utah. Got some film there. Um, I played corner um, like youth ball days, but yeah, yeah, it feel good. It feels good to be out there. But um, and then lastly, running back. I've been playing running back all my life, so it's it's just natural. So yeah. Okay. So this off season, you know, before the season started. All right. What did what were your focus? You know, what what did you really want to improve on in your game to kind of take it to the next level? Uh, I wanted to improve in IQ. Really, um, just knowing the game, being a student of the game, being able to prepare uh, and and have a game plan down, and you know, analyze my my opponent and you know the tendencies stuff like that. Um, because then you can play even faster. You know. Knowing, knowing what, what your opponent is going to do and who, who, who's in front of you. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. What do you feel your current biggest strengths are right now on the field? You know, regardless of position, you know, you can name the position you want to, but what, what do you feel your best strengths are that, you know, for, for the football team that you're playing for? All right. Um, I would say just having a balance of everything, speed, strength, uh, just – Having a balance, out, being being athletic and being able to make plays that you know, one one person who who, who can make a, a power play or, you know, a different play that can't you know I, I can I feel like I can make, I can be a different player, a different plays like all the time. So I just, I just think uh, like I'm, I'm a lot of players on, on, on at one time on the field. So. So that linebacker position you play, it's it's really open and versatile for you. You can really right. kind of come in and out of, you know, either coverage, uh, spying on the quarterback, right. or pursuing the quarterback, pursuing the running back. So it sounds like you've got a lot of uh, availability. They let, they let you kind of roam around out there and just wreak havoc, you know? All right. Are you the type of player that likes to impact versus the run game? Do you like to get down there and get dirty and just stuff guys right at the line? Of course. The run game is probably – it's fun. It's fun playing in a box. Uh, yep. Just just knowing your, your job and, and being able to come straight downhill and, you know, put a face on someone. That's There's no other feeling like it for real. Um, yeah. What traits do you feel – make an elite linebacker like what what does it take for those guys who already are elite what traits do they have mentally and physically do you feel uh i would say a leader i mean as a linebacker yes as a linebacker you have to you know the communion with the whole communicating with the whole team you know you got the d line in front of you you got people beside you so i feel like leader and, and knowing everyone's job was definitely gonna help and like just IQ. I think it can help a linebacker uh, just play faster and, and play 
play true to the game. So, yeah, probably the IQ. How's this season going so far? So far for you and your team. Uh, the season we we had some bumps, but you know it's things to learn. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's the only thing uh, I can I can really say. Uh, we we play the best of the best every week. So yeah. you know, not a lot of people can say that. You know what I'm saying? We we, we don't duck anyone. We, we we go at it every every week. And, you know, we we travel too. So I mean, that's that's to no excuse. But you know, no no team's doing that. And I just feel like. You know that that's just perfect of of the team I, I want to be a part of because that that's that's my mentality. You know, so I'm I'm not I'm willing to do anything anywhere, and, you know, strap up anytime. So and that was one of the things you know when I was kind of uh, introducing you while you were backstage. I wanted you know fans to know how high I was on the high school that you attend because I mean I right. I truly do watch what you guys do and I have a lot of respect for your team and your coaching staff you guys really do put it on the line every week and sure. you will battle and challenge anybody who wants to come up and battle you you know and like you said you guys will travel to battle too yeah yeah I mean I got a lot of respect man for what you guys are doing a whole lot of respect that. It means a lot because a lot of people don't, don't recognize stuff like that so Oh, bro, I keep a I keep a close eye on that stuff because it's rare, man. You know, not everybody. A lot of teams want to get, you know, maybe that that yeah, that little easy, easier schedule. You know what I'm saying? So they yeah, get the easier yeah. wins and get an undefeated season or whatever. But you guys want to prove that you can battle versus the best all the time every single year. So I mean, right. bro, that that's nothing but props to you guys for that, man. Honestly. So in practice, what is your favorite drill? I think okay, favorite. I probably like team. Team mm -hmm. is just team. Like team is just you can work everything you you've been doing at Indy. You can put it on. You can put it on wax right there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you're working on something, you can put it all all right there in team. Uh, yeah, that definitely has to be that. Yeah. Well, let's flip it and do a 180. What's the toughest drill you guys go through? Pursuits. <laughs> Pursuit <laughs> drill. Oh, yeah. Everyone on my team knows on the defense. Well, not even just on the defense, but everyone knows pursuits. Our pursuits are, I mean, but we see it as a, a prerequisite. That, that That's what we always say. We It's what we do. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what makes us different. We, we run to the ball. It, it cuts down like it. It cuts down like a lot of stuff, you know. That it's just a big, big part of our defense. So, yeah. But yeah, definitely pursuit, man. Pursuit is great. <laughs> so from the deep, let's talk about you know from the defensive side of the ball right now. When you're right. watching, when you're first starting to watch film on your opponent for that week, you know, for for the next opponent coming up for the week. All right. What are some of the first things that you're trying to identify on that film that you're watching that you can take advantage of? All right. Um, first, I mean, I, I like to break down the percentages of like you know run pass, yeah, uh, stuff like that. Like, just knowing the offensive coordinator, you know, his tendencies, his tendencies is just just gonna help like in general in the game. So, if you know what's coming towards you, what you know, what concepts they like to run, what what run concepts they they have passing concepts. Stuff like that, you can, you know, sit, sit and, and bait on them. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, definitely that. So, what gets you most excited on game day? You know, if it is it is it pregame, you know, getting in the zone, or is it something that happens on the field? What gets you most excited? Uh, it's really, it's really playing playing with my brothers for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying when. I can look to the left and right of myself and, and see people have that's gonna put it on the line for me. Like it's it's there's really no other time like playing like that. Like it's there's really no other feeling other than that. Uh and also like seeing my family in the stands, like, you know, it, it definitely gives me gives me a different motive, like, you know, yeah, for sure that. 
if you had to describe your game to somebody who's never seen your film or never seen you play, how would you describe your game to them? I would say explosive uh, game. Explosive, just versatile. I mean, I'm, I, I feel like I can be anywhere. I mean, I, I'm on all three different levels, basically, so. I think, I think the word versatile just, like, truly speaks to your game, honestly. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, sure. It really does. Who are your favorite players? You know, it can be college, it can be NFL, you know, guys you like to look up to, maybe steal a little bit of their game to add to your game, you know? Yeah, um, right now, okay, all-time college favorite player probably be Jabril Peppers. Yeah. He just, like, hit different. Um, yeah. Jabril Peppers is probably one of my favorite. Uh, who else? In NFL, I would say, as of recently, I, I, I like to watch a lot of Fred Warner. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I like to watch a lot of Micah Parsons. Uh, yeah. That's that's probably yeah that's, that's really all. I mean, I watch more, but you know. Hey, man, those are still some of the main guys who are who are doing it big right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. You spoke about this a little bit earlier, and I want to bring it back up again. But it's the leadership aspect at that linebacker position. All right. What kind of leader are you, man? Are you know are you a vocal leader? Are you speak by your actions, or is it a little bit of both? Uh, I would say a little bit of both. I mean, naturally, just growing up, I've always been a leader. Um, even, even like our our program just teaches leadership. I mean, we, we might have our leaders, but you know, really, everyone should be a leader and hold everyone accountable. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a. I would say I'm a vocal leader. Um, you know, just holding players accountable, stuff like that. You know, definitely. You know, holding the standards. Uh, yeah, just stuff like that, for real. I got you. I got you. All right, well, man, well, let's jump into recruiting, bro. Sure. How are you enjoying recruiting so far? Have you enjoyed this process? Yeah, for sure. It's, it's, it's been a blessing. Uh, yeah. Very blessed. Uh, a lot of people dream to be in my position, so I just cherish every every moment. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a blessing. What are some of the recent games that you got a chance to visit, you know, college games, you know, during this season? Um, most recently, I went to Ohio and Maryland. Uh, that was, yeah, that was that was a good game. Uh, it was, what, probably one of the best cultures I've seen, like, in the stadium. Like, they're, they're crazy up in Ohio. Like, I've never seen it ever. So, it, it was definitely big for me, but yeah, it was nice. What you know? What other colleges do you got that are really showing you a lot of love right now? I would say uh, USC. Yeah, probably USC, uh, Miami, uh, Syracuse. Showing me a lot of love. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's sorry. When's the last time you were down at Miami? I've never, I've never visited down in Miami. Uh, oh, you haven't been there yet. Okay. You haven't been here yet, but okay. I plan to. I've, I've talked to the coach when when he first offered me. Um, he said out he, he'll try to get me down here, but I'll probably go after the season somewhere. Probably what when CJ goes or Colton. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Kind of curious, you know? Were you surprised when you got that offer from Miami? Uh, yeah, they what they called me down to the office or to one of the defensive rooms and. Yeah, I was I was definitely excited to see him. Um, Miami's always been a, a team I've always watched, you know, growing up. You know, it's it's definitely crazy. Uh, I'm just, yeah, I remember that day too. <laughs> but I'm glad Miami offered you, bro, man. As after watching your film and stuff, I mean, I'm really glad they offered you, and I'm glad to hear that they're staying in contact with you as well. Yeah, for sure. So. Speaking, you know, talking about colleges and stuff, what are some of the big factors for you when it comes time to pick a college? You got a little time still, but, you know, 
relationships, right. development, all that kind of stuff. What what's important to you? Um, important to me. I I feel like the culture is 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 important. Um, like with me, I don't know. Like I, I really take football serious, and you know, a lot of the time, like in high school, a lot of kids don't take it too serious. So in the next level, like it's it's gonna be even different. So. I, I just wanted to be, you know, have it. I just want my team to have the same passion for the game as, as I do. So, yeah, that's, that's really what I look for, just passion and, and the love for the game and, you know, yeah. You know, Coach Cristobal at Miami said a little while back that he wants young players to come into Miami and earn snaps and get on the field. You know, not be handed them, earn those snaps, just like everybody right. else needs to earn them. All right. Is that something that's important to you, getting that chance to get early playing time to earn your role? You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Early playing time is, is definitely is definitely up there with just having, like, recruiting process and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's how it should be, you know. It's – I mean, that's – having the best player on the field just – why not? Why not have the best player on the field? Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. Before I get completely away from your high school season, I'm curious, man, what kind of stats have you been putting up so far, you know, on both sides? Uh, Well, recently, I've, I've been – since I've been playing DN, I probably have, like – I probably win more than 50% of the chance. Like, more – I I don't really lose on the line, like, uh, stuff like that. Uh, What else? I – well, like – I forgot my rushing yards. I, I really have to look it up, but I've but a fair amount of rushing yards. I don't play like a lot of running back, but when I do, like, yeah, uh, what else? <laughs> like QB pressures. Probably have about. I think I had about four in a game, or like five or so in a game, mm-hmm. and that's just you know. I only get it on third down, so it's just, you know, it's held to a minimum, but. Yeah. I got you. I got you. When they get you in there on third down and stuff, is is it predominantly to get you in there to pass rush, or are they looking at you to drop back in coverage often too? Uh, I might, what, well, they'll have me at DN, like, a lot of the time, but sometimes they'll put me at linebacker for, like, you know, low hole cover or, yeah, you know. Just, just dropping back and, you know, holding that middle down. So, well, Man, you know, me being a Miami Hurricanes fan, I All got right. three I got three words for you, and I want to know what they mean to you. Miami Hurricanes football. What do those three words mean to Juice? Uh, just a opportunity, you know, opportunity to put, to put you know, myself and to just help the you know program and what like i said i I've, I've been like watching like the, the documentaries and stuff like it, it means a lot like to, to see that it definitely wants you know i look at it as want to bring that back like that's that's what a, a lot of miami fans like like to see so i'm i'm with that so uh that's that's definitely that's definitely big to me i Miami's de- definitely a top top school I've been looking at. Uh, a school that I watch a lot, so yeah, it's opportunity for sure. Great one. I love hearing that, and you're the first recruit that I've ever had come on use the word opportunity, and I really like how you phrase that, man. Honestly, given that just just so, an oppor- just having the opportunity just to prove yourself, you know, like you right. said, some some kids dream of, of just getting that one chance. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a big deal, man. Some, some people don't understand how big of a deal it really is to get that chance. You know what I'm saying? But it's big. At this point in the interview, what I like to do, man, is I like to give recruits a chance to kind of show some love to people who've helped them out along the way, you know, coaches, trainers, parents, um, teammates, you know, anybody you want to show some love to feel free, man. Just show them some love right now. Uh, well, first I'd like to start with my team. Um, my, my team, they, 
like I said, we, we all hold each other accountable. Uh, a lot of us know each other. A lot of us play in the same youth ball uh, team or, or played against each other. And uh, I just, they're, they're really everything for real. You know what I'm saying? Without them, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be where I am. Uh, my coaches, my defensive coordinator, man, I've been, I've been under him since like middle school. So he's really the best of the best. Um, if people don't know now, he's, if people don't know now, they, they, they will. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll make sure of that. So he's really, he's really the best of the best. Like, there's no other way to put it. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, my parents and, well, they, they've held me down through everything and pointed me in the right direction and been, been great support. Uh, and last, God, for real. God just allowed me to, you know, have opportunities and take advantage of them uh, and just be here today. Yeah. 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 Got you, man. So what's next for you and St. Francis Academy? What game you got next? Uh, we have Life Christian, Life Christian Academy. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah that will be our third or second to Third, third, the last game because we have yeah two more games after this. So, okay, okay. yeah. What's your guys' record right now? We are what five and five and four, five and four. Okay. Yeah. So, how can people find you on social media? You know, go ahead and plug your social media accounts. Uh, on Instagram, you can find me at svg juice, and then on Twitter or. X. <laughs> you can find me on uh, Juice underscore D E A S. Last name. So. Bef okay, before I ask you this last question, I'm kind of curious. On your account, you've got listed as a 2025 money backer. What's <laughs> a what? What is that to you? What does that mean to you, money backer? Uh, money backer is just is it's, it's just a versatile position for real. Uh, on our team, a money backer does everything. Mm -hmm. You know, man coverage, zone, pass rush, uh, plays in a box. So that's what that is. Yeah. I kind of figured that's what it was. I just wanted to ask because <laughs> I saw it, man, and I, I like the sound of it, honestly, bro. Money backer yeah, sounds dope. dope. Like, that sounds hella dope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I got one last question for you here, Juice, and it'll oh. be – it's a question I ask. Everybody that I bring on this show, man, don't matter. Recruits, players, coaches, ADs, I mean, it don't matter. They all get the same last question that I ask here. Sure. Why do you love the game of football? What makes you want to go out there and compete at such a high level on a weekly basis? Uh, Man, it's really just what the game can do. It's really a, a tool that I can use to just elevate, you know, people around me and, and myself and, you know, just this is a tool just to, you know, be, be the person I am, uh, just, you know, giving and just be being successful. Uh, yeah, that's – and really, I mean, well, playing football, you, you, I really found my, my purpose, like a lot of my purpose when I, when I really started getting to football. So, like, you know, just – certain friends and stuff and people have been with me since since I was like young. Uh I, like they they have such a great love for the game. Like, you know, whatever they love, I, I love. So I just, you know, that that really motivates me and stuff like that. Um and just to be the best. The best me. You know. It's no it's nothing else. It's, it's nothing like, you know, wanting to be the best and, you know, just digging and, and grinding grinding for what you want. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, just stuff like that. I noticed that, that it's one of those questions that the more recruits think about it, the deeper the yeah. answers get. You know what I'm saying? Really? It, start, it starts bringing up more and more and more stuff. And I was seeing that with you because it was kind of leading to more and more and more, and it would remind yeah. you of more things and stuff. And 
that's how impactful football is and that's how big it is it's a lifestyle you know what i'm saying people got to understand that it's a it's a lifestyle man you got to walk it you got to talk it you got to breathe it you got to live it sure bryce man i truly appreciate you jumping on here this afternoon man. i really really do i i was i was anxious to get fans a little more familiar with you because i truly love watching your film bro like you got some amazing sure. upside man and i'm glad to hear that miami's staying in contact with you i'm glad to hear that you got other schools showing you love bro all i want for you is to get the right opportunity at the right place so you can shine that's what i want for you bro appreciate you man appreciate you well you're you're you know you being a 2025 player you know i definitely want to have you back on you know in the future and stuff so we can update fans about your development recruitment sure. you know all that good stuff you know for sure all right, man. Well, you have yourself a good night. And thank you again for joining RNG for this recruit interview. I truly appreciate it, Bryce. No problem, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right, you guys. That was one of the best 2025 linebackers in the country, in my in my opinion, honestly. The three-star ranking, it it, it is it, – it, I think it's kind of a lazy ranking, honestly. I, I don't think that they've truly looked at the impact that he truly has at, at the level that he's playing at when he's playing at linebacker and he's doing so many different things and especially playing defensive end now as well. He's adding that to his repertoire. I, I just, uh, I, I think the three star, and you know, is kind of just a, an initial kind of grade they want to give him because he does so much. They don't know really where to peg him yet or what exact position, but what I see is I see a four-star athlete. That's what I see. I'm not going out by position or anything like that. Like you said, he calls himself a money backer. I'll call him a money backer if that's what he wants to be called. If that's the position he wants to rock with, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to rock with that because it sounds dope as hell. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, he's a special player, and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to be getting higher rankings with from uh, recruiting services coming very, very soon. Thank you guys for joining us once again for another RNG recruit interview. It was a blast having Bryce on here tonight, man. Like I said, he's just one of those players that I'm just super, super high in, in the 2025 class. You guys go ahead and hit up his huddle. Check it out. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me, you're going to really enjoy it. You guys have a great night, and we'll catch you soon. We got multiple interviews coming up this week. Have a good one. Peace.